Hey everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're beginning the NFL playoffs, and there are seven teams in each conference in this year. So we're going to get started to look at some of these games for the first round. Now there are six games, but we're not going to look at all of them. I'll take a look at four of them for you today. And before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here. It has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games. And the first one on the list here that we want to look at for this weekend is the Las Vegas Raiders and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Raiders made the playoffs an overtime win over the Chargers. They enter burning hot. You can see they have won their last four games and four out of their last six. While the Bengals are averaged down, they are coming off of a 21-16 loss and they were 3-3 over their last six. They are a 5.5 point home favorite though with odds of 1.41 to 2.868 and you notice here that the over under is at 48.5. Now the score prediction has the Bengals in a close game 29-24 which would not cover the spread but it would uh, go over the line. But take a look at the confidence in predictions only 25.7% so not a high level of confidence in this pick right now. Take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to the game. Um, if you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see it's very close with the Bengals at plus 25 and the Raiders at plus 23. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent are these two teams performing according to their favorite underdog status, you see here not very much, right? Both minus. Uh, minus one for the Bengals, minus three for the Raiders. So take that into consideration before you uh, make your pick here. Uh, if you, let's take a look at the movement in the the line if there has been any let's take a look here this is the Bengals money line you see it opened at uh minus 1.37 and you can see here as we go through it it did drop here to what was it like minus 1.45 and now it's back up to 1.41 so in the end though i really do think i'm going to go with a little bit of an upset here i like the raiders i like the way they played i like their momentum i think that momentum is going to carry over I like the Raiders to win, and I'm going to bet over the line. The New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. And these two AFC East teams battle again. The Patriots come in, average down, coming off of a loss. They are 3-3 and three over their last six, while the Bills are burning hot on a four-game winning streak and a 27-10 to 10 win in the last game of the season over the Jets. You see here that the Bills are minus four. The line is minus 4.5, and the odds are 1.48 to 2.612. The over-under is set at a relatively low 43.5. Uh, if you look at the score prediction, 37 to 21 in favor of the Bills. That would indicate that this would go over the line, and the confidence of prediction is pretty high, 81.7%. Uh, let's take a look at a few more things here, though. Um, if you're considering the over and under, you see here that Buffalo has been over in three out of the last six games but under in the last two but look at the patriots playing in games over the line in their last three i'm leaning towards the over in this one if you take a look at the power rankings indicator you see buffalo is a slightly ahead of new england at 24 to 22. let's take a look at the volatility oscillator i like to see the stability factor how well are these two teams performing with respect to their favorite underdog status, you see they're both performing pretty well, plus 6 to plus 5. In that category, I just want to take a look at the money line now, like we always do. Has there been any movement in the line? You can see here that the line started. This is the, the Bills money line at 1.45. You can see that there has been some movement here. It went up 1.41. You can see a lot of movement down here. It did go to 1.51, but now is sitting at 1.48. It's hard to root, again, well not root, not really rooting, but hard to pick against Bill Belichick in a playoff game. But yeah, Buffalo is burning hot. They're playing very well. They are the better team. They are at home. I think they win. I think they cover, and I will bet over the line. Philadelphia Eagles and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So the Eagles rebounded from a nice. Uh, actually, a very poor 2-5 and five start, but finished up nicely 9-8. Eagles hat right here. And claiming the seventh seed in the NFC, but they have a very tough task at hand here against Tampa Bay and Tom Brady, especially at home. The Buccaneers are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last three, five out of their last six. The Eagles are 4-2 and two over their last six, but you can see the 
Buccaneers are an 8.5 point home favorite, a huge favorite, with odds of 1.23 to 4.04. The over under is set at 47.5. The score prediction shows an, a game going over, and I, I like that too. I think that's going to be another high scoring game. Tampa Bay 37, Philadelphia 18, with confidence in prediction very high at 86.3%. The power rankings indicator, like I always like to look at, you can see Tampa Bay is at plus 29. Philadelphia got up to as high as plus 21, then dropped with their loss against Dallas. The game that didn't mean anything, but they're at plus 20. The stability factor, the volatility oscillator, both teams performing consistent according to their favorite underdog status, which means that's probably a good bet to pick New England. Uh, excuse me, New England, Tom Brady. I keep thinking New England. It's Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, of course. And now, so what I'm thinking, though, is that the Eagles actually have a chance to stay in this game. They have an excellent running game. If they can stay close early, they can run the ball, keep Tom Brady off the field. But, hey, let's in the end, you can't bet against Tom Brady, especially at home against a rookie coach and a young team. Pick Tampa Bay. It would not surprise me if the Eagles actually covered this, but Tampa Bay will win in the game going over. There's three more games. I want to look at one more. San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. This is actually probably the game of the weekend. I like this game a lot. Uh, it should be a very competitive game. You see both teams enter burning hot. The Cowboys are a 1.59 to 2.352 odds favorite with a line of 3.5 points. And the over-under is set at 50.5. The score prediction has the game going slightly over with the Cowboys winning 31-22 with a confidence in prediction of nearly 71%. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, the Cowboys here are at plus 25. They're on a little downward trend. San Francisco is on the upward trend at plus 20. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. Here's the thing that you can take notice is that San Francisco is not very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. So take that in a little bit of a consideration before you make the bet. While the Cowboys are here at plus six. Take a look if there's been any movement in the line since it opened. We can see here that it started at 1.592. This is the Cowboys line. There has been some movement up and down. You can see it did go down here to 1.641. And now it's back up to where it started at 1.59. I do like the Cowboys to win this game. I think the 49ers can keep it close. It's going to be a good game. I like the Cowboys to win close. The Cowboys will have enough to win in the end and cover. But I'm going to avoid the over-under. Not really sure about which way that's going to go. Uh, because the score prediction is just barely over. 50.5 is a, high, you know, a lot of points. So I'm going to avoid the over-under in this one. But I do think the Cowboys will win. The last two games, which I'm not going to uh, talk about, but you can take a look if you have time to look at this. It's the Steelers and the Chiefs. Not really going to look at that because it's a huge 12.5 point favorite for the Chiefs. And the last game is the Cardinals and the Rams. And you can see here, this is an NFC West battle. So you can take a look at this as you wish. So there you have it. Those are the games for the wild card weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you again.